Welcome to this short video on how to process a payroll in under 5 minutes using Sage One Payroll. Sage One Payroll is the simple and convenient way to pay your employees accurately without the need to be a black belt or know anything about payroll. Not only does it benefit from anywhere, anytime online access, you can be 100% confident that you will be remaining legislatively compliant with any HMRC changes. Not only is it ideal for startup and small businesses, it's available in 5, 10 or 15 employees from as little as £1 per employee per month. Okay, so let's process a payroll. So the current screen that we're on at the moment will give you a summary of how many weeks have been processed so far in the year and which we've got four. Now we're going to move on and process tax week five. To do this, simply click the process payroll field. Processing a payroll in Sage One Payroll is as simple as following four steps. Getting started, recording absences, editing the pay, and then finally confirming the pay. So let's move on to getting started. So the first step get, is simply to enter the process date that you're processing. For this, we're going to simply choose the 9th of May and click Next. The next screen enables you to record absences such as sick, maternity pay, paternity pay, etc. So this particular employee, Nelson Weeds, has already been off sick for some of the previous tax weeks. So let's continue this, entering this individual's sick pay. To do this, simply click Add Absence and then choose Sickness. Okay, we've received the relevant documentation to confirm that he's sick and why, and we're just going to enter the dates. Previously, he was sick until the 30th of April, so we're going to start it from the 1st of May. And he's off until the 9th of May, and we're going to save that. And there's the sickness recorded. And we're going to choose Next. The next step that we're going to process is the individual's payments. So on the particular payment entry screen, you can see this particular employee has got some basic hours and some overtime, as well as a correction and some statutory sick leave. Now in this pay period, this particular employee has done zero overtime hours and zero working hours because they've been off sick. If we then move on to the second employee, Caroline Brown, basic hours are 35 at a rate of £11.50, it automatically calculates the total for you. Now this particular pay period, they've only done seven hours worth of overtime. As you can see, it automatically recalculates the total value for that payment type, and will also recalculate the tax and national insurance that's due. And to process the payroll for each individual employee, it's a simple case of repeating the process. For Arkle Hunter, we need to enter some overtime. So just put in seven hours. At a rate of £14.50 an hour. And again, it automatically calculates that for you. And you continue processing the individual's payroll by entering the hours. But you can also enter this as a rate if you want to as well. Now we're going to move on to step four, which is confirming the payroll run. So this final screen gives you a summary of what the pay trends are based upon each processing period, but also a summary of what each individual's payroll is. And the employer cost that's due as a result of that. So we're going to complete pay values. And I'm happy that they're complete. And it takes us to the completed pay run screen for tax week five. It is from here that you can produce a report of each individual's tax, national insurance, etc. So you've got your employee pay six summary, which will show your tax and national insurance has been deducted, all the way down to your net pay, as well as your payment summary, etc. You can also produce each individual pay slip from here.
And that's tax week five completed, and that's how to run a payroll in under five minutes.